Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to, to relate the degree and the radian measurement of angle. Let's start the video. How can we obtain a relationship between degree and radian? The answer is, we can compare the number of degrees and the number of radians in one complete rotation in a circle. Let's take a circle and this one is the initial line and this line is rotated with respect to this center of the circle. In that case, we know that 60 degree is all the way around the circle. Again, if we take this length is r, in that case, the circumference of a circle of radius r is 2 pi r. Now, in this case, the length of the intercepted arc is equal to the circumference of the circle. Therefore, the radian measurement of this central angle is the circumference of the circle divided by the circle's radius r. That is theta equal to s divided by r, where this s is 2 pi r in this case and divided by r which is 2 pi. That is the central angle measurement is 2 pi radian. So we can say that 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radians and if we divide for the both side by 2 in that case we will get 180 degree equal to pi radian. So this is the relationship between degree and radian. Let's simplify this relation that is conversion between the and radians. That is we know 180 degree equal to pi radian. If we divide this equation both sides by 180 degree in that case we will get 180 divided by 180 equal to pi divided by 180 degree radians. So we can say 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians. So this is the rule that to convert to degree to radians multiply the degree by 180 degree. Let's simplify it for the radian. That is, we know 180 degree equal to pi radians. So divide this equation by pi on the both sides. In that case, we will get 180 degree divided by pi, which is equal to pi divided by pi radian. So we can say 1 radian is equal to 180 degree divided by pi degree. So this is the conversion rules. That is to convert a radian to degrees, multiply the radians by 180 degree divided by pi. Now let's see what is one radian. For this circle, this one is the radius. This one is another radius. And this one is the arc of length r. That is the arc which is equal to the radius r. In that case, this central angle is one radian. That is, we can say the angle subtended by an arc equal in the length to the radius of the circle at the center is 1 radian. That is, the angle subtended by an arc equal length to the radius. That is, when the arc length is equal to the radius of any circle, in that case, the angle subtended by that arc at the center of the circle is 1 radian. So, in this case, this angle is 1 radian. Let's simplify the degree and radian relation. We know 1 degree equal to pi divided by 180 radians. So we can say a d degree is equal to pi by 180 times d radian. So this part is radian measurement. So we can say pi divided by 180 times d which is equal to r that is r radians. So after simplification we can write d divided by 180 degree which is equal to r divided by pi. So this is the conversion rules between degree and radian. Where d is the angle measured in degree and r is the angle measured in radians. So let's see some example to degree to radian conversion. That is 1 degree is equal to pi divided by 180 times 1 radians. This value we know pi by 180 radians which is approximately 0 0.0174533 radians. Again, 30 degree which is equal to pi by 180 times 30 and we draw the rules to convert from degree to radians multiply the degree by pi by 180 degree. So 30 degree is equal to pi divided by 180 times 30 degree which is pi by 6 radians. Similarly for 270 degree that is pi by 180 times 270 degree that is 3 pi by 2 radians. Finally, 360 degree, which is equal to pi divided by 180 degree times 360 degree, which is 2 pi radians. And if we substitute the value of pi is equal to 
3.141 is approximately in that case we will get the value like this one now let's see the example uh, radian to degree conversion that is one radian is equal to 180 degree divided by pi times one this degree which is equal to 180 divided by pi which is approximately 57.2958 d now number b that is pi by 3 radian which is equal to 180 degree divided by pi times pi by 3 degree which is 60 degree that is pi pi cancel t which is 60 degree that is according to the rules that we know to conversion between radian to degree multiply the radian value by 180 divided by pi in that case we will get the value of degree that is 60 degree number c pi radian is equal to 180 degree divided by pi times pi degree which is equal to 180 that is pi and pi cancel 180 degree finally pi by 10 radians which is equal to 180 degree divided by pi times pi by 10 which is 18 degree because pi pi cancel and 180 divided by 10 which is 18 so the value of pi by 10 radian is equal to 18 degree now let's see the fraction degree to minute conversion that is 0 0.2958 degree equal to how many minutes according to the rules we know one degree is equal to 60 minutes so for this degree that is 0 0.2958 degree which is equal to 0 0.2958 times 60 this minute that is 0 0.2958 times 60 degree which is equal to 17.748 minutes approximately similarly for 0 0.748 minutes is equal to 0 0.748 times 60 this second that is 44.8 second approximately so we can call that is 0 0.2958 degrees is equal to 17 minutes and 44.8 second this is the rules that is multiply that fraction value of degree by 60 to convert it in minutes and multiply the fraction minute by 60 to convert it in seconds